So, makatulog na ako. I can sleep eight hours without worrying that I have to stand up and, you know, be good. Or... So, alam mo, sabi nila, pinakamagandang ano ko niya is uh, yung rested sleep. And maybe I can have it now. And have more time to read. So many books, uh, na regalo, and uh, have to uh, enjoy reading and motor. Hindi ako nagpapaano pero may retirement ako pero idagdag ko na na yun sa CV ko kasi hindi ko alam po hanggang hanggang saan ako dadating sa buhay mo. Ang buto po sa ako gihimo. Basta ang akong masiguro sa inyo is that uh, I have kept the faith. Trabaho ang ginagawa. In critical and crucial issues affecting the country, I will perhaps participate or talk. Uh, basta yung mga crucial sa ating bayan. Uh, I, 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 uh, I'll be there to, to add to my whatever narratives or uh, taking aside to expose one uh, Uh, the city government is also very thankful for uh, the support, both tangible and intangible. I say tangible kasi yung bago naming uh, city hall na we will be inaugurating in a few days was given by the president. And uh, maraming salamat, Presidente, for always having Digo City and the Digo Senyos in your mind. Sa inyo po, mahal na D Pangulong Duterte, sa inyong pag-alies uh, bilang ating presidente, nais ko pong iwan po ang isang mensahe na maraming maraming salamat po sa pagmamahal, sa pagmamalasakit ninyo sa katutubong Pilipino. Hindi hindi po ito kakalimutan, especially ng mga katutubo ng buong bansa. Dahil po ngayon lang talaga namin naramdaman, especially dun sa ginawa niyong batas, yung Uh, uh, Executive Order 70, yung EO 70, na naglalayon na ng lahat ng ahensya ng gobyerno para magkaisa, para magtulungan, para tugunan, lalong-lalo na ang mga burning issues ng ating mga katutubong Pilipinas. Pwede ko dagan kaing salamat sa servisyo na imong gihatag, dili lang isip na bawin nyo, dili lang isip Mindanaon, pero apil na po isip ka ng Pilipino. Uh, proud ka, ayaw ko nga, nga nga tagadabo ko tungod kay gikan pod ka dito patay no um, napaka pong salamat sa lahat 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 ng ginawa mo sa sa city ng Davao at sa buong Pilipinas hindi talaga namin makalimutan yan ako personally uh, hindi ko kailangan sabihin but um, pero nung even when when he started sabi ko silently i will work hard as an artist na to to help our president make this uh, country better um, sir What you've done here in, in Mindanao is nothing short of miraculous. You're a quantum leap president for so many reasons, but one big reason is Mindanao. What you've done here is really, you have made millions of lives better here in Mindanao. Uh, imagine before, this was the hotbed of insurgency. And in fact, one of the funny na unfunny stories is that Uh, before you sat in office, matatapos na yung gera kasi pananalo na ang NPA. ba? Diba? Pero hindi na ganun ngayon, sir. In a few, what, months, Davao, the whole Davao region will be declared insurgency-free. And this is under your watch. No? 25,200 surrenders. How many guerrilla fronts? 61 guerrilla fronts out of 68 na patumba. More than 50% of them are in Mindanao, no? which means very clearly that you've brought peace in Mindanao. It's real. It's no longer a far-off dream. And, and um, I, I thank you talaga from the bottom of my heart as a daughter of Mindanao and as a Filipino. 
kay Presidente naman, uh, Sir President, uh, it's really been an honor, a great, my greatest honor to be on board your program, your administration, you being the captain of the ship. Hindi ko po makakalimutan ng inyong kindness at lalo na pagbigay sa akin ng pagkakataon na maging Director General of the National Defense Coordinating Agency. Uh, kung saan man po tayo dadalhin ng panahon, uh, Mayor, uh, kasama po ako lagi sa inyo. God bless po, ayakan niyo po ang inyong health.